Hey everyone, Art McDermott here. Um, I thought I would produce a little something today called Market Basket Tips. And the reason I'm doing that is because I did get a question from somebody about the snacking thing. It's come up multiple times. I realize obviously it's an issue for people. So I thought I would do not just snacking, but kind of list out the go-to goal stuff that I'm always gonna get at Market Basket. These are my core items. Some of them are snacks, some of them are more entree stuff, but I just thought I'd throw them out there. Maybe it gives you some ideas. I know, you know like nuts aren't everyone's favorite, but I'm just gonna run through this and hopefully it helps. So let me start off with snacks. Um, this one, organic blueberries. Um, I like the organic, not necessarily just because they're organic, but when I was actually comparing them side by side at Market Basket with the regular blueberries, these were bigger, plumper, they look fresher. So organic blueberries, this brand happens to be Green Bell. I'm not sure if that's consistent across uh, stores, but that's what I found. Um, and here is my collection of favorites for the mixed nuts category. And I'll show you which one is the current darling of this. Uh, cashews, you can see um, this one's just about gone. The whole cashews, make sure you get the raw. Market Basket does have a really good section of all nuts and these kind of packaged uh, snacks. I go with the uh, whole cashews raw is one of them. This one's a little pricier, I will admit. Uh, macadamia nuts, also raw. They, I like them because they have good fats. This is a favorite snack of uh, the ketogenic diet world, right? Um, it's, it ranks well up there. I like those. <clears throat> I eat those sparingly, so I, honestly, I get one bag, and it's gonna last me a couple of weeks, quite frankly, because I just take literally about six or seven cashews at a time. I mean, uh, macadamia nuts, excuse me, at a time and put them in the bowl. All right. Um, Pecan halves, everyone's f familiar with the pecans. Uh, I like them, they're a little less flavorful than some of the other stuff. These are pecan halves, and uh, I mix those in just for variety, just so I'm not always eating the same stuff. One of my favorites is walnuts, raw. Okay, I don't get the raw walnut pieces, I like the bigger chunks. A uh, lot of good studies on walnuts and their uh, beneficial effects on the brain, there's some good fats in there. Uh, and now with all these nuts, there's a reputation, I had a client once say, well, I don't want to eat cashews, there's too many calories, too many calories. And just remember, calories don't matter. No matter what big companies tell you or, or diet chains or whatever, it's the source of the calories that matter. So the fats from these nuts are good fats, so it's a good thing. Here is my current favorite snack. It's called, again, it's the same Market Basket brand. Fiber Frenzy Mix, okay? Inside this, looking at it, we have uh, shelled pumpkin seeds. There are, there's organic coconut in there. I like these little shreds. You can kind of see them here, the white shreds of coconut. Really good tasting. Um, we have, what else? I'm reading here, dates, all right? This, uh, there's some dates in there. That adds a little sweetness to it. Careful, you can't have too many of those. Um, if they're, unless they're organic or unless they're raw, they uh, can sometimes have a lot of high fructose corn syrup. So you gotta be careful on that one. Um, Brazil nuts, almonds, and filberts, okay? So this is a really good little snack I like to carry around. If I'm gonna go away on the road for a day, golfing, whatever it is, I'm gonna be away and I need an, uh, a, a snack. These are my go-to. All right, moving along. <clears throat> Art, wait. That's a wheat-based product. How can you be eating that? It's carbs. Yes, it is. Um, this brings in another topic called nutrient timing. When you eat carbohydrates is almost important as what kind of carbohydrates you're eating. Uh, Triscuits. Why is Triscuits on my list? Here's my ingredient list. Whole grain wheat, canola oil, sea salt. That's it. No paragraph with the chemicals. So post-workout, when I come home from training, I train pretty vigorously, usually with weights, a lot of times with interval training and sprinting uh, on the treadmill. This is my go-to snack. This is my carbohydrate recovery post-workout. Uh, I'll have it with some really good tasting cheeses and things like that. And um, so Triscuits makes the list. Um, I also, here are my two, this is the darling of the nutrition world right now, the avocado. 
All right, I like these, and you uh, want to get you got to buy them when they're green. Wait till they turn dark. This little stem thing falls off. It's kind of an indicator that it's ripe. It's a slight softness when it's ready to go. Uh, I, try, I, just, I just scoop them out and put slices, whole slices of avocado on top of whatever I'm eating. Guacamole, I like these single serve packs. Um, and I didn't bring in the whole package. Um, <clears throat> Cavallo, I think is the brand name for these. This is the spicy version. You know, I like to live dangerously. So this is a nice single size pack and I can spread that on, um, on this next item actually that I go to. Um, breads are kind of the one of those big no-nos. A lot of people have a real issue eating bread a lot. Tough one to break. This is the only type of bread that I eat. Joseph's flax oat bran whole wheat lavash bread. Um, if, I'm, if I'm going to have bread, which is probably once per day, maybe usually with breakfast, usually post-training, because I don't eat before I go to the gym, so that's a fasting workout. I come home, I need my carbohydrate source, there's my lavash bread that I go with. Um, next, this is more entree size stuff, of course. Okay, I say if you're going to eat beef, ground beef, whole beef, whatever, please make it grass-fed. Please make it grass-fed. This is the, the difference between grass-fed beef and commercially grown beef in the United States is night and day. I've said this before, I've written about this before. This particular company is called Spring Crossing Cattle Company. This is a grass-fed ribeye. This one is about nine bucks, all right? It's got some decent size to it. Yes, if I go for a commercially grown brand, I'm probably gonna get a lot bigger for nine bucks, but guess what? Bigger's not better. Okay, here we go. This is good size for a meal. I probably, you know, it depends on the day. I may not even finish this whole thing, um, but it's grass-fed. It tastes good. It's lean. It's excellent. So um, that is my recommendation for beef. Same company. This is ground beef. I make uh, multiple burgers out of this one. My son actually likes it. I mix this with a, uh, a like, what's it called? Montreal steak seasoning, the powder stuff. Mix it all together and add some really good flavor to it. Um, and this is 85% uh, lean beef. Uh, again, Spring Crossing Cattle Company, grass-fed beef, a go-to. Now, <clears throat> finally, I'm not all like without feelings or dessert or temptations. Here are my go-to uh, sweet tooth related snacks. Number one, I, this is the Lindt uh, dark chocolate. It's definitely dark chocolate. Milk chocolate's not in the uh, repertoire here. This is a touch of sea salt. It gives it a nice little extra flavor to it. So this is my go-to. I have one, maybe two squares of uh, this for a snack. And then my, if I really feeling tempted, Market, bra market Basket brand, once again, dark chocolate cashews. So these are chocolate covered cashews, but it is dark chocolate. I really like this one. I try to, uh, uh, if I'm gonna, you know, be bad and have a sweet snack, this is it. It's as good a snack as anything I could taste. Um, so there you have it. That's my short little go-to list for Market Basket. And uh, get used to that nuts section. It's a whole wall that they have in there. For that stuff, I hope that helps and hope to give you some ideas for some snacks and some meals during the day to keep you on track. Talk to you soon.